Hello everyone, my name is Robert Yanushkevich. I'm an operational marketing project manager working in Tultonica Telematics. Uh, today with us we have our technical guy Vitani Skibildis. Hello Vitani. Hi. Hi everyone. So I think uh, it's pretty much we are ready. Participants are still connecting as I see. The number is growing but I think it's time to start. So let's go. And today, today's agenda, we will discuss about the benefits of Bluetooth low power uh, energy solutions. Also, we will present, of course, our new family members, iBeacon and iSensor devices. So, please welcome our new family members. Also, of course, we will talk about the Teltonica ecosystem. We will talk about dedicated FM firmware features, which are dedicated especially for i products. Then we will talk about the most popular usage scenarios. And of course, we'll have the live uh, QA session. So, uh, benefits of wireless solutions. First of all, it's installation cost. Quick, uh, straightforward installation is one of the main benefits of wireless sensor systems. Wireless systems could be your only available option where hard wiring is difficult or impractical because of long wires, complicated constructions, special connectors, etc. Installing wireless sensor system doesn't require any drilling or wiring or additional parts dissembling of the trailer, for example. So it's, of course, it is very easy and fast installation and it saves your money. So, maintenance, no virus, no maintenance, no need to connect power wires, moreover, no need to connect any connectors, additional connectors, to read the data. Data transfers over the air, so no service, no expenses, no connectors, no broken wires. It saves your expensive service time. And of course, flexibility and scalability. As we'll have already touched on, one of the biggest benefits of having wireless network is that they are ready to use and add and modify very easy. It's easier data reading. You can supporting many sensors readings at once, a wide options of different configuration combinations also. Let me explain you one simple example of wireless solution benefits. We interviewed several installers and for your imagination. So one installation of one temperature sensor takes around hour and half and two hours. The trailer has to be dismalled, the cap of the truck has to be lifted up, and the special connectors between the truck and the trailer often have to be installed. And they often broke after some time of use and must to be replaced. And if you are talking about one sensor, but imagine if you are talking about a two or more or four sensors, then the time is extended for four hours, for example. One hour of installation time in European Union costs about 50 euros, while installation of a BLE sensor takes up to five minutes. So, one more time, BLE sensor saves expensive time of installation and of the service. And now, today we are especially proud uh, to present brand new Bluetooth low energy connectivity based accessories, our Teltonica iBeacon and iSensor. You must have all deal with the customer's complaints about solutions that are too expensive. They have long lead time, uh, complicated and time consuming uh, for setup process. To solving these problems, we have created our new products and let's take a closer look at them. So, first model is iBeacon. It's a wireless Bluetooth ID signal radio transmitter. It has a sophisticated casing design for a flexible and quick installation up to 10 years of battery lifespan with a signal transmission every 10 seconds. And signal transmission is configurable parameter and later we'll talk about it in more details. It's got uh, waterproof, dustproof, robust protective casing designed to white stunt elements. 
Operating signal range is up to 80 meters, which is aligned with our main competitor based on our actual real measurements. Also, iBeacon is a perfect choice for a wide uh, range of different notification use cases, such as, for example, driver tracking, trailer tracking, tools tracking, equipment, machinery, goods tracking, waste containers, even tracking, and many, many more. So let's take a look on our second model is a I sensor, it's multi-purpose sensor, also based on Bluetooth, of course, technology. This is four in one device with a built in temperature sensor, humidity sensor, accelerometer, and magnet field detection sensor. Thanks to this, it has a very competitive price and all these sensors can work at once. In such scenario, battery lifetime is up to five years with the uh, same data transmission every 10 seconds. It also got the uh, same power, waterproof, uh, dustproof, robust, protective casing. This model can be used for cold chain logistics to track the real-time temperature and humidity of cargo, which is transported. Also, the movement detection feature may help. Also, we have the magnet uh, sensor here. It can help to track the door opening and closing events. Okay, let's take a closer look of the difference between two models. iBeacon can send only ID and the battery life level, while the sensor sends the same. So we can uh, say that it is the same uh, sensor, but more advanced. In addition, he has the, the sensors. Also, all two models uh, sense, of course, the notifications about battery life status. So when the battery is a critical low level, you always will receive the notification about that. So the similar casings, similar functionality, but the eye sensor has a built in additionally few sensors. And at the same time, eye sensor can work as a beacon and send the same data protocols of standard ones like Eddystone or iBeacon. So let's go further and let's take a closer look in the data advertising intervals versus battery lifetime, how it depends. As you can see in data sending every second, iBeacon can live up to two years, while with data sending every 10 seconds, it can live up to 10 and more years. iSensor can live to up to one year and with 10 seconds data advertising can live up to five years. It also depends on the data transmission power level, and etc. Cetera, et cetera. And soon in our wiki page, we'll add uh, detailed uh, instructions how the configuration depends on battery lifetime. Okay, let's talk more about the clients. In our client's mind, we have to set up a new product landing page where the all most important information is available in one place. The visitors can find detailed description of both products, order codes, certification information, special features explained. You can find the data sheets and access links to the mobile application, of course. With, with this application, you can update firmware's change configuration and many more. So if you haven't seen that page yet, please do so and use it in your advantage. Uh, so I think that that page will assist you and will help clients to faster start in the market, start the sales. All right, what else? And of course, to configure uh, devices, we need to have the application. The, this new our application is called iApp. It's supported on Google Play Store and on App Store on Apple devices. This was developed specially for our iProducts. It allows us to configure these products and update the firmwares. And even more, uh, you can monitoring data, actual status, for example, of the sensor. So installer can in real time check the status of, of temperature, they check the status of, for example, magnet levels for magnet status for uh, doors closing and opening events to check how it works. So it is very handy and practical tool that we believe improves our accessories. So let's take a closer look in the windows of this application. 
So as you can see, the first window shows us the all uh, sensors which are nearby you. So you can see here the, all the devices. And I just want to mention one thing that there's some limitations from the Apple side, iOS side, that when the device is configured to data sending I beacon protocols, this I beacon data packets is not available to see via Apple phone, but with an Android phone, there's no such restrictions. You can see all the data packets. On the right corner, you can see search button. It's very useful feature. With this feature, you can set the filters and with the filters, you can, for example, imagine that in one place, there's a lot of different Bluetooth devices, a lot of high sensors, for example, and you need to find one sensor. So you can use the search bar to search by name, to search by MAC address. You can filter data by protocols for iBeacon or Ediston or only for sensor protocol. And of course, you can use the, the slider with the signal level. So you can set, for example, only strong signal and you will see devices only which are nearby you. Also, the next window shows us overview window where you can see the all real data from the sensors, the signal level, which is converted to the distance. You can see the status of the sensors. You can see the names of IDs. Also, you can see the firmware version. And in case if the new version is available, you will see notification here. And through the app, you will be able to download and automatically update the connected uh, sensor or beacon. And of course, there are configuration options, and we have here uh, two uh, modes, uh, basic settings and advanced settings. In basic settings, you can uh, change the name, change the power signal level, you can change the advertising interval, or you can also change the data protocols. Now, data protocols, is data packets can be or only Ediston, it can be Ediston plus the sensors, or for example, it can be only Ediston or only iBeacon. While in advanced settings, you can uh, the set up the IDs according to the structure of iBeacon. For example, you can change UUID, you can change the major, the minor values. Same with Ediston, you can change the instance name. Also, you can set the different sensor reading interval to, in this case, to reach the better battery lifetime results to read the sensors with the not such a frequent way. Also, it is possible to set the low and high values for the events. For example, it's possible to uh, configure temperature event and set the two values. And when the temperature will exceed configured values, it's possible to configure device to send very frequent data packets for some period of time. So in this case, we will ensure that receiver, or if it is a uh, mobile phone, mobile application, or it is a GPS tracker, for sure will receive these events and will act as it should. You will receive the information in the system. And such a duration time, how long device will be sending this information is also configurable. So I think it's very, very useful thing. Okay, so wiki page, very useful tool for easy find all the information. For example, my career in IT sector started from the support engineer, so I know it very well how it is important to have the good technical documentation in one place. So in our wiki page, we added separate group of our eye accessories with uh, all the instructions for eye beacon and eye sensor. And there you can find the specifications, even mounting recommendations, examples of app configurations, example of FM tracker configurations with the screens from the configurator and different methods how you can to configure. Of course, you can find iData protocols in case if you want to implement uh, support of iDevices into your solution, into your, uh, let's say, mobile application. And of course, uh, FM protocols, how to implement Bluetooth functionality on server side to read all the data. And there's this uh, paragraph of new features of the list of the new features, what additionally you need to add to have full functionality from the eye sensors on your server side. And of course, we added frequently uh, asked questions here. 
So you can find the details, explanations of many different kinds of, of questions. So let's talk a little bit about the Teutonica ecosystem and special dedicated FM features. And the first one is the proximity events and how it works. FM tracker will scan the range and can distinguish visible beacons by the signal strength to the relevant zones. Multiple zones can be configured according the signal level, the near, away, or, or far away, for example. Uh, tracker will save separate ID list of beacons by the zones, and it will be possible to generate for additionally lost events, events with the list of beacons that have become invisible. As you can see on the screen, a signal level can be configured manually. And for example, you can use only, for example, two zones or two events, uh, only the near uh, beacons and, for example, only lost. So it's fully manually configurable thing. Also, the next uh, new feature which we add, it's a new list of beacon uh, authentication by name, not only by IDs. So from now, uh, you will be able to configure the authorized list of beacons, not only by ID, UUID, main or major, but also by the name. So for example, you can name beacon with a name trailer A, for example, and all the beacons with the name trailer A will be saved into separate uh, list of beacons. Next features is uh, dedicated from eye sensors and from now, it will be even easier to configure eye sensors without advanced mode and the presets. So eye sensors will be configured via standard I.O. elements, where will be option to use same configuration. There will be two options. That you can use the notification by MAC address, as is a present basic firmware. But now also you will be able to use authentication by the names. And let me show you how it looks like. Yeah, detection by the by the name and by the signal level is similar to the proximity events. You can set the level of the signal which is required to save this uh, uh, sensor to the data packet. And of course, you can use the namings. For example, the trailer uh, all the time is changing with the sensors inside. You don't need to change uh, in a FM in the, which is mounted in the truck don't need to change the MAC addresses. You can just save one configuration with names. And uh, all these names can be duplicated on the sensor side. And the sensor with configured name will be saved in the data packets. So all these features are available now on the testing uh, firmware versions. And I believe that soon, very soon, we will uh, release it officially. So, okay, uh, let's talk a little bit more about the business cases where we can use these uh, new devices. So, uh, we see the great potential of wireless uh, solutions, which will allow us extend uh, functionalities of existing solutions and discover new scales of niches. So, let's take a closer look. For example, trailer tracking use case. The logistic industry is an essential part of any economy and the driving force behind many sectors like uh, trade, manufacturing, agriculture, e-commerce, services, and so on. Trailers are an integral part of the transport system and they have to be managed efficiently to remain competitive and profitable, of course. And wireless Bluetooth technology combined with the vehicle GPS tracker opens up new opportunities uh, on the fleet management. For example, dispatchers and fleet managers need to know a trailer status in real time, the last location, the mileage, which driver is using it, it was dropped out or not, the last location of the trailer, and which the driver, for example, is closest to that trailer, and so on. So thanks to the Teltonica Telematics newly introduced beacon model, with data readings, with a tracker, you can easily manage all these things and how it works. It, as you can see on the topology, it's very, very simple. Every belief beacon has a unique ID number. It's tra transmitted over the air with radio signal to the GPS tracker mounted in the truck. And the truck sends the combined information with GNSS status, with the time and the concrete IDs of the beacons from the range. Even more, 
Okay. With the iBeacon, you can set also the proximity zones, so it is possible to scan and to save only the beacons which are nearby track. Let's go to the another use case. One of the most popular use cases, of course, is the temperature tracking. The temperature tracking and monitoring has a multi-billion dollar economic and environment impact worldwide. And any cold chain logistics solutions is very important. Did you know that according to International Institute of Refrigeration, the lack of the functioning cold chain uh, causes considerable uh, food loss? And in calculations, it's up to almost 20% through, through the world. Going further, in developed countries, food losses account for nearly 9% of total food production and 23% average in developing, still developing countries. So, and here you can use wireless solutions, wireless Bluetooth sensors. Sensor can be attached, how it works. Sensor can be attached to the temperature sensitive cargo or can be installed in the refrigerator, like on this picture. We call a GPS tracker receives readings from the sensor and sends immediately to the server. Additionally, you can uh, configure the events and when temperature goes down or, or goes up through the configured limits, device immediately will send all the information to the server. So what you get, you get the customizable device, programmable. You have a very precise temperature and humidity data monitoring. Additionally, you have unique features of FM. When, for example, you can uh, set up a device to read data only from only the group of sensors by some name, concrete name. Also, to save only sensors from the zone, from, for example, or only near sensors. You don't need to track all the sensors from your warehouse, for example. And this solution is wireless, so no wireless is very affordable and very quick installation. Another one is, for example, good tracking, where you can use the combination of beacons and sensors. And here the wireless Bluetooth technology helps to monitoring and automation op uh, and opens new horizons for uh, different use cases. For example, you need to monitoring the deliveries like parcels, packets, you know, pallet boxes and food stuff and pharmaceutical stuff and other valuable assets. So if it is enough to just to have the position, you can use Billy Beacon and you will receive the last known position and the time. And in more advanced use cases, you can use the sensors and use such a data like temperature or humidity. And in future, we are planning to add the, also the crash detection, shock detection, let's call fall on the floor detection. So it will be possible to save by the sensor the event if the goods were dropped, was dropped. So I think it is also very, very attractive and an advanced feature. And talking in overall, we often get the questions about where we can install wireless beacons and wireless sensors. But there are plenty of areas in the vehicle telematics market where the wireless solutions can solve many challenges and help to diversity the business. We all know that the installation of wired devices is a pretty difficult and time-consuming and resources-consuming and maintenance is expensive. So wireless sensors don't require all this stuff. It's more easier. For example, let's say the simple one, driver ID. Yeah? Yes, you no need uh, air feed, additional air feed reader. Uh, there is no wires. The, just need the tracker with the Bluetooth connectivity and uh, beacon itself. I think the benefits are obvious. Let's take, for example, a use case like uh, waste management. In every country, there are a lot of big companies that deal with garbage collection. And imagine that all these trucks can be used products uh, which you are selling. In this case, the trackers and the beacons and the sensors. And for example, beacon can be mounted on the trash container, so the truck will see the time and the place when we, then the, he will go in the place. 
for example, by using an additional eye sensors, which is, as you know, has the built-in accelerometer, it is possible to detect not only the movement, but also even angle of the accelerometer. So it is possible to get events that the garbage container was really, there was some action and trash was empty. Let's say, take the last one, for example, doors events. Another simple use case, and thanks to the magnetic sensor that can detect magnet fields, a magnet is mounted, a magnet is mounted on the door and a sensor on the trailer, and then the door is closed. The sensor can see the magnet and sense the status of the open or closed doors. It's a very simple way to get the sensors without any wiring, without the connection of power of the sensor, and so on. So I think the benefits here is clear. Very clear. Let's sum up. So what we have, we have our new products that have a very competitive pricing. They are configurable, wide functionality, but can reach different business needs. Thanks for unique features. As the devices are designed and manufactured by Teltonica, we have faster lead times because we manage the whole process from component supply to uh, packaging. Also, our technical support engineers are available to assist promptly as we do not depend on the third party technicians. And of course, we are open to the new ideas and new developments and, and to create new features and extend the functionality of our sensors. And I think that is pretty much that's all, yeah. And one more time, I want to thank you for your time and stay safe and see you soon. Bye-bye.